Hi guys, this is Saurabh. Today we see syntax of the for loop and the example depend on that for loop. Okay, now see, this is the syntax. Now, for this is your variable in initial value to the final value. Now see, this is nothing but your variable. Okay, now again the loop sequence of statements and end of your loop this is the syntax here is some steps the initial step is executed first and only the ones means this is my initial step and this is executed first okay now this step allows you to declare and initialize any loop control variable now when you initialize this variable okay and when this is executed first at the time this variable Okay, now here is this is a counter. Now this variable is automatically initialized. Clear? No need to initialize manually. Now in the next step, the condition that is the initial value and the final value is evaluated. Okay, now if it is true, the body of the loop is executed. When the when it's true, this condition and this condition is true at the time the body of the loop is executed otherwise it's jump to the next statement if it is false okay so this is nothing but the flow now in the next step after the body of the for loop executes the value of the con counter variable is increased or decreased when your body of the loop executed then definitely it, its effect on your counter means this is your variable its effect the value of your variable okay it's increase or decrease and in the last step the condition is now evaluated again if the condition is true then it's evaluated again and again and if the condition is false then it's terminated so this is the simple for loop syntax of that for loop and some description how we use and how exactly execute that for loop now let's see one example on that for loop okay now suppose create one procedure create procedure create or replace create or replace procedure create or replace procedure now my procedure name okay suppose my procedure name is for loop then simple is now when you use the for loop so for your for loop no need to declare any kind of variable so directly your executable part starts now for i in one dot dot ten now see this is initial value and this is the final value or we say that it's lower bound and it's upper bound and this is my variable name okay this is my variable name then loop okay after that directly dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i so this is the display of the display the value of the variable end of your loop okay and end of your now see in that procedure no need to declare the variable no need to increment that variable and no need to exit the loop condition why because it's automatically done by your for loop clear that's why for loop is so important loop and it's so easy now procedure created then execute my procedure name what is my procedure name for loop okay now set server output on and then again execute for loop it display me 1 to 10 clear so this is 
सिंपल फॉर लूप नाउ देर इज अनादर वन कंसेप्ट सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले द आउटपुट इन द रिवर्स ऑर्डर और इन ए डिक्रीजिंग फॉर्मेट सो बाय डिफॉल्ट द इट्रेशन प्रोसीड फ्रॉम द इनिशियल वैल्यू टू द फाइनल वैल्यू क्लियर नाउ जनरली अपवर्ड फ्रॉम द लोअर बाउंड टू द हायर बाउंड यू कैन रिवर्स दिस ऑर्डर बाय यूजिंग द रिवर्स की वर्ड नाउ सी दिस रिवर्स की वर्ड इज यूज टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू फ्रॉम योर लो अपर बाउंड टू द लोअर बाउंड ओके इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर वी सिंपली सेट दैट इट्स अ डिक्रीमेंटिंग यूर फॉर लो नाउ लेट सी वन एग्जाम्पल ओके नाउ सी we change in that loop immediately only for i in simple reverse keyword now i in reverse 1 dot dot 10 okay now first clear all these things then at the rate okay then slash procedure created then execute for loop now see here output is like 10 9 8 7 in the reverse order okay so this is about the for loop now in this video we see how we create the for loop and how we create the decrementer for loop clear so this is something about the for loop thank you